Okay, so let's look at sequencing of conditions. Let's take a simple example and uh, show how we can enforce that uh, conditions need to come in a specific order in order to make a condition group go true. Okay, so I've got a reactor sensor here and I've got a garage door sensor and a kitchen door sensor. And my scenario is I want to take some action uh, when somebody comes home through the garage. And I know that someone's come home through the garage because the garage door sensor will trip first and then the kitchen door sensor will trip after when they come into the kitchen from the garage. Uh, if the opposite happens, if the kitchen door opens first and then the garage door opens, or if just the kitchen door opens, or if just the garage door opens, I don't want to react to any of that. And if both doors are open at the same time in whatever order, I don't necessarily want to react to that. I specifically want to react to the case where the garage door opens first and then the kitchen door opens after. So let's put that into our reactor sensor. I'm going to go to the conditions tab as always. I'm going to add a device state condition and choose my garage door sensor. And I'm going to say when that's armed or uh, when it's opened, whether it's armed or disarmed. And then on our kitchen door, I'm going to do exactly the same thing when the door is open. All right, I'm going to save that for a minute. Now, if I leave it like this, this reactor sensor will trip anytime both doors are open at the same time, regardless of the order of, uh, in which the two doors uh, were opened. And remember that I'm specifically looking for the case where the garage door has to open first, and then the kitchen door has to open. So in order to make that happen, I'm going to open the um, options, the condition options on my kitchen door test. And I'm going to say that this condition can only be true right here, only after. And if I click that drop down, it shows me my garage door sensor test up above. So I'm going to click that. So now I've just established a dependency between these two conditions. The second condition can only be true when the first condition has been met as well. So, and the first condition was met first. So I'm going to save that. This is what it looks like in status. So just regular garage door tripped equals one. That's we're used to looking at that. And then here for the kitchen door, tripped equals one after garage door sensor tripped equals one. So let's see what happens. I'm going to trip the, let's see, I'm going to trip the kitchen door first just for fun. So let's open the kitchen door. And we can see the kitchen door is open because here's the value of tripped. It's one. And so our condition has been met, tripped equals one, but the whole condition has not gone true. And that's because we haven't met the after sequencing condition. All right, so let me turn this back. Actually, let me open the, let me open the garage door as well. So now both are open at the same time. And you can see now the garage door has opened. So the garage door opened after the kitchen door. That's not the order we established. So um, even though this one has gone true, this one can't go true because it's out of order. Let me close both of them. Now this time I'm going to open up the kitchen door first. So, or excuse me, the garage door first. So I'm opening up the garage door. Now the garage door is open. Now if I open up the kitchen door, now the kitchen door goes true and the whole group goes true. So this sequencing, this after condition here, this after option enforced that this second condition can only go true after the first condition goes true. Uh, and this can be another condition in the same group, uh, or it can be another group as long as it's not in the child hierarchy, as long as it's not an ancestor uh, of this. Um, so you can, you can really do a lot with this and set up a lot of complicated conditions. So that's all I have for sequencing and for the uh, after condition option. If this video has been helpful to you, uh, please by all means give me a thumbs up, a like down below, and don't forget to subscribe if you want to be notified when new videos come out. And there's also that bell icon down there to send you an active notification as those new videos come out. Uh, if you have a uh, further question on this or a suggestion for another video that I can make, uh, please by all means get in touch with me. Uh, my name is Patrick. You'll find me on the Vera community forums at community.getvera.com. Uh, with the username RigPapa, R-I-G-P-A-P-A. -P -A. Thanks again for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.